There are many ways to create visual art. Some things are best done with paints and pencils. Other things are best done with ready-made building blocks. This applies to digital images. The same picture can be created in different ways. These two pictures look alike, but were created in quite different ways. The top image was created as a bitmap, that is, a set of pixels to create the shape. If expanded, it starts to disintegrate into its individual pixels. The bottom image was created as a vector, that is, a mathematical equation to create the shape. If expanded, it reconstructs and is always sharp and clear. Vector graphics are also easy to create and reshape. However, they work best with human-made objects. Try drawing a tree, for example, and we soon find out that it is not made up of a few simple building blocks. It doesn't look very realistic. A tree looks a lot more realistic if created with a paint program. The painting at left and the photo at right are both bitmaps. Bitmaps can show the fine detail of irregular natural objects like people, animals, and scenery. A bitmap tells the computer what color to put into each pixel of the image as you see here. A vector tells the computer how to draw a mathematical shape then fill that shape with colors, textures, or pictures as seen here. Let's use the drawing tools in Microsoft PowerPoint or Word or Excel or equivalent to take apart the clipart image. Right click on the image to group then ungroup Select the parts you want to change. Recolor the parts with Shape Fill. Move the pieces and change order, such as Bring to Front to put the picture together. Use a paint tool like Microsoft Paint or Photoshop to create a tree. Put your recolored clip art figure in front of the tree. Use Bring to Front. So resize the picture and the tree to look realistic. See what happens if you use the paint tool to create the picture. Without transparent selection, the pasted bitmap comes as a square image blocking the tree. Choose transparent selection to paste. Bitmaps can be very hard to edit. That is why most clip art is vector with simple shapes it is much easier to manage. The print screen button on the keyboard copies to the clipboard. Open MS Paint and paste the screen dump from the clipboard into Paint. Within Paint, select the section with the girl and the tree cut and paste into a new Paint document. Then edit the picture, adding sky, grass, and so on with the Paint tools. Text can be edited as a vector image. Insert a text box. Choose a fat wide text style. Set its size as more than a hundred. Then fill the text with a picture. You could also fill the text with a color to use chroma key. Here we filled the text with red because the scene has a lot of blue and green colors in it so we need to choose a color that is rare in the scene. 